Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and these are the 20 things your OnePlus 3 can do. So the list will contain some basic stuff. So my intention is you'll know at least 5 new things from the entire list. So let's get started. If you like the concept of always on display on Samsung devices, then you can get the same thing using a third party app called as Gleam Plus. I made a separate video on how to do that. So you can check that out for more information. Next, we can connect OTG pen drives using an OTG adapter to the OnePlus 3. Sadly, mine doesn't work, but most of the other devices are able to detect the OTG pen drive. Next, we can change the icon packs in the stock launcher. We don't have any themes in OnePlus 3, but we do have dark mode, which looks amazing on the AMOLED screen. To protect your eyes while using your phone in the darkness, we have night mode which can be accessed using the notification toggle and even the display settings. In the display settings we also have the option to change the display temperature. So if you want a cooler display or a warm display we can tweak it in the display settings. We can connect to bluetooth devices with NFC like the Sony headset or the JBL Pulse using the NFC with a simple tap. Next we can make wireless payments or wireless transactions using the NFC on the OnePlus 3. Next, we can authenticate transaction in the Google Play Store using the OnePlus 3's fingerprint scanner. Next, we can root the OnePlus 3 and it will not void your warranty. So that's a huge thing for everyone who likes to tweak their phones. Next, we can double tap the power button to quickly open the camera app. On OnePlus 3, we can save images in RAW format. So just go to the settings and enable the RAW format. And every time you take a picture, it will take the normal picture along with the RAW file. We can watch 360 degree videos and enjoy the VR content on the OnePlus 3. OnePlus 3 will support the Google's high quality mobile VR Daydream. Well, it isn't officially announced, but OnePlus 3 definitely has the specs to support Daydream. OnePlus 3 also has some screen gestures like double tap to wake, draw a V to toggle the flash, draw a circle to quickly open the camera app. Next we have something called as proximity wake. Simply wave your hand over the proximity sensors and it will wake up the device and show you your notifications. Next we can unlock applications using the fingerprint scanner. We need to install a third party app for that. I already made a video for that so do check it out. If you are not a big fan of the capacitor buttons, we can always switch to on screen buttons. We can even tweak the positions of these buttons and we can add additional functionality like double press and long press for the capacitor buttons. We also have an advanced reboot, so a normal reboot will give you option to reboot the phone and if you enable the advanced reboot, you get the option to directly boot into bootloader and recovery along with a normal reboot option. And finally, the most obvious thing, on the left side of the phone we have the alert slider which can be used to change your current sound profile or your interrupt profile. So we have three modes, all interrupts, priority and silent. We can tweak the settings related to the alert slider in the alert slider settings here. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I know the list has some interesting stuff and some basic stuff. So as I've said, I hope at least you find 5 new things that your OnePlus 3 can do. Check out my other videos on OnePlus 3. There's a link for that in the description area. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video and until then, have a nice day. How many new things did you find in this video? Why don't you let me know by commenting below this video.